Hello dear students, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Welcome to Accountancy class. In today's session, let's continue with chapter 6 that is trial balance and rectification of errors. This is session 2. In previous session, I explained the meaning of trial balance, its objectives and methods of preparing trial balance and also I explained the specimen of trial balance. In this session, let's continue with a problem. Now, now let's look into the problem. Prepare a trial balance from the following balances relating to Mrs. Sri Devi as on 31st March 2017. Here they have given the particulars. First is Mrs. Sri Devi's capital, it is 1,45,000. Capital always shows credit balance, so we have to enter this on credit side. Second is stock of goods, this is 70,000. Stock is an asset, so we have to record it in debit side. Motor car, again it is an asset, we have to record it in debit column. Bad debt, bad debt is a loss. So all losses and expense, we have to record it in debit side. Sales, sales. It is an income, we record it in credit side. Cash at bank, it is an asset, we record it in debit side. Cash in hand, it is an asset, we record it in debit column. Rent, it is an expense, we record it in debit column. Discount allowed, 4000. Discount, we are allowing discount, we are giving discount, it is a loss to us. That is why we record it in debit column. Next is carriage. Carriage is related to traveling expenses uh, of the business. That is an expense again. We record it in debit column. So uh, in trial balance, whenever we classify into debit column and uh, credit column, first the rule you have to apply. First you have to apply the rule. All assets and expense you have to record it in debit column. And all income and gain and liability you have to record it in credit column. Now let's start with the problem. This is Sri Devi's trial balance as on 31st March 2017. This is serial number, this is ledger folio, this is debit and this is, this is name of the accounts, debit, credit. Here we write the amount. First is Mrs. Shri Devi's capital. Mrs. Shri Devi's capital. Capital we record it in credit side. So we record it in credit column 1 lakh 45,000. Next is stock of goods 70,000. Stock is an asset. We record it in debit column. Next is motor car, motor car, next is motor car, it's worth 1,20,000, motor car is an asset, we have to record it in debit column. Next is bad debts, bad debts, it's a loss, these are the debts which you can uh, never be recovered, bad debts means are the debt which you can never recover that we call it as bad debt so it is a loss so we record it in debit column 7000 next is sales sales is an income we record it in credit side 2 lakh 8000 next is cash at bank is 90000 it is an asset So we record it in debit column. Next is cash in hand, 12,000. Again, it is an asset. We record it in debit side, that is 
12,000. Next is rent. Rent is an expense. So if we pay rent, it is an expense. So we record all expenses in debit column. Amount comes to 35,000. Next is discount allowed. We are giving discount. It is a loss to us. So we have to record it in debit column. Discount allowed. The amount is 4,000. Next is carriage. Carriage, it's a traveling expense to the business. It is an expense. So we record it in debit column. Amount is 15,000. Now let's total this. So the total of debit and credit must be equal. Total comes to 3,53,000. Here also it is 3,53,000. So if trial balance, if both the column debit and credit, it comes equal, it means that there are no errors. So now we know accounts, we have ledger and we balances to hold it. Trial balance one separate sheet only in prepare maadi divi. Adu yerdu debit credit yerdu same total bandre. Idu vargu na main accounts maadi divi ado correct anda. So ika yerdu no tally agi. Now let's do one more problem. From the following ledger balances of Mrs. Arpita, prepare trial balance as on 31st March 2017. Particulars they have given stock 15,000 stock it is an asset. We have to record it in debit column. Purchases, it is uh, an expense. We have purchased goods, it is an expense for us. So we have to record it in debit column. Sales, it is an income. We have to record it in credit side. And capital, capital always shows credit balance. So we record it in credit column. Drawings, so drawings means if a proprietor withdraws money from his business, for personal use, we call it as drawings. So here we have to record it in debit column. Next is debtors. Debtors we record it in debit column. Debtors again it is an asset. Creditors. Creditors are liability. So all liabilities and uh, income we record it in credit side. So here we record it in credit column. Next is investments. It, investments it is an asset. We record it in debit column. Next is legal charges. Legal charges means it is an expense uh, for the business. legal expense So expense So we record it in debit column. Next is cash in hand. Cash in hand again it is an asset. We record it in debit column. So now let's start with the problem. Mrs. Arpita's trial balance as on 31st March 2017. Here we write serial number. This is the name of the account, ledger folio, this is debit column and this is credit column. So now let's start recording. First one is stock. Stock, the amount is 15,000. Stock, it is an asset. So we have to record it in debit column. Next is purchases. Purchases. Again, it is an asset, so it is an expense for us. So we record it in debit column, amount comes to 30,000. Next is sales. Sales is an income for us, so we record it in credit column. Next, capital. Capital always shows credit balance, so we record it in credit side. The amount is 45,000. Next 
is drawings. Drawings. So here we have to write it in debit column. Next is data. Data it is an asset. So we write it in debit column 18,000. Next, creditors. Creditors, it is a liability. If it is a liability, we have to record it in credit side of the trial balance. Amount comes to 10,000. Next, investments. Investments, it is an asset. So we record it in debit column. Amount is 15,000. Next, legal charges. It is an expense. All expenses must be debited. So we record it in debit column 2000. Next is cash in hand. Cash in hand. It is an asset. So we have to record it in debit column. The amount is 5000. So now let's total this. Total of trial balance comes to 95,000. 95,000 total comes on both sides of trial balance. Both debit and credit column is equal now. It means that here there are no errors. So now we go any accounts postmark on the TV, ledger balances, any postmark TV. So now they read the other error illa anta illi prove So debit and credit both it is equal. Let's do one more problem. Prepare a trial balance from the following particulars as on 31st March 2016. First is capital, 25,000. Capital always shows credit balance. So capital, we always uh, write it in credit side. So here we have to write the amount capital in credit column. Next is bills payable. Bills payable are liabilities. Liabilities means outsider's claim, which we have to pay for outsiders. So this we have to record it in credit column. Next is bills receivable. Bills, bills receivable is it is an asset. So we have to record it in debit column. Next is stock. Stock it is an asset. We record it in debit column 8500. Next is furniture 2600. Furniture again it is an asset. So we record it in debit column. Next is purchases. Purchases it is an expense 8950. We record it in debit column. Next is sales, 22,500. Sales, it is an income for you. We record it in credit column. Next is discount received. Here you are not allowing discount. Here you have received a discount. Nimige discount koti dare. Andre idha nimige income. So this we record it in credit side. Next is carriage. You know what is carriage? Carriage is the cost of transporting the goods from the business to the uh, customers. So that we call it as carriage. So it is an expense. So all expenses must be recorded in debit column 300. Next is cash at bank. Cash at bank it is an asset. So we record it in uh, debit column. Amount is 25,570. So now let's start with the problem. Trial balance as on 31st March Here we write serial number. This is the name of the account. This is ledger folio. This is debit. And this is credit. Now let's start recording the transactions. First one is capital. Capital always shows credit balance. So amount is 25,000. So we have to record it in credit column. Second is bills payable. Bills payable, it is a liability. We have to record it in credit side. 
6850 next is bills receivable bills receivable it is an asset so we have to record it in debit column amount is 4400 next is stock stock it is an asset so we record it in debit column 8500 next furniture furniture it is an asset so we have to record it in debit column 2600 furniture it is an asset so we record it in debit column next is purchases purchases it is an expense for you so all expenses you should write it in debit column so we have to record it in debit column amount is 8950 next is sales sales it is an income for you so you have to record it in credit side 22500 next is discount received here you have received a discount it is an income for you so you have to record it in credit side that is 970 next carriage carriage it is an expense to the business so all expenses you have to record it in debit column so you have to write carriage amount in debit column 300 next is cash at bank cash at bank it is an asset so all asset must be recorded in debit column so we have to record it in debit column that is 25570 so we have recorded all the uh, items related to trial balance so now let us total this to total of trial balance comes to 50320 on both sides so if i total this the total comes to 50320 so this is a simple problem uh, based on uh, trial balance so in this session uh, we did three problems based on trial balance so in the examination trial balance a question based on trial balance is asked for 6 marks and while posting uh, the uh, name of the accounts into debit and credit you have to remember the rule first is you have to record all assets and expenses in debit column and all income and liability in credit column so if we record all the transactions which are related to trial balance into debit and credit column if the total of debit and credit if it is equal it means that there are no errors if trial balance do not tally it means that there are some errors and i hope you have understood today's session thank you